Happy Friday. There's some roars in this house. There's some roars in this house. Happy Friday, y'all. Hey. Hey. Okay, we ain't going to sleep like seven days a week. Hey. 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 Oh, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so we all need to be there for, for all of y'all who uh, got cheering and stuff in the room. Uh, happy Friday, y'all. Cardi happy Friday. B and uh, Meg the Stallion. Happy Friday. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. hey ladies. Hello, darling. How are you? I am good today. I'm are you? Good. You know, you looking cute with your orange on. You do, Thank you do. I'm loving it. Thank you. I'm trying to do more color, y'all. Okay. It is beautiful. Yes. It is beautiful. Raj and everybody else be like, you wear too much black, girl. Get your life together. You know, I mean, life is full of color. You know, there are <laughs> other things to wear besides black. Is all I'm ah! saying. Shade. Right. You're right. So I'm I'm dipping into the color palette, okay? So I'm feeling a little orange today. So I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. Yes, you look awesome, sis. Thank you. you. How you so doing, do you Carrie? Know? What's going on, Carrie? Carrie. Joy? Not, not much. I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling encouraged and just blessed today, you know? That's yes. Good. Yeah. Congratulations on your feature. I yes, just I was it. just Aww. about to say, Sister yes. and Power of the Week Thank goes to Carrie Joy. I appreciate <laughs> you. Honey, she was in 303 Magazine. She was featured yeah. in a magazine here in Denver called 303 Magazine. And we are so proud of you, sis. You want to tell a little bit of um, folks about the article? And yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, it was just it was just an opportunity to uh, to to talk about some things that I had created during this pandemic. Um, mm -hmm. So they had asked just kind of like, how you doing with it as an artist? How are you addressing what's going on as an artist? And so that was actually, um, it started off with a piece that I wrote um, called Lest We Fight Weary um, mm -hmm. that I wrote after mm -hmm. the, the the death of Ahmaud Arbery, which was happening in the midst of all of this. And just really trying to encourage black and brown people that have been in this fight for generations to, to really take some time with yourself, to remember yourself, to not neglect yourselves. Because as we build a beautiful world that we want to walk into, we have to take a better version of us in there and yes. or else we will perpetuate all that is familiar. So mm -hmm. let's familiarize ourselves with joy and love and peace and community, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, so that we can take that into the future with us. And so, um, so yeah, it was dope. I was very, I was very honored. So thank you, appreciate y'all. That's amazing. Yeah, and, and I, I love I the format of the article too. Like the way that they did your spoken word piece and then and they did thoughts mm -hmm. from y'all at the end. I've yes. never read that in a in an article before. I thought that was dope. it was cool. It was cool, and it was really dope to be to be featured um, with um, with some some amazing people like Charlie, who's doing some really dope stuff with the um, the Museum for Black Girls out here, and also mm -hmm. uh, Monty Taj. So yeah, that was thank you. I appreciate y'all. You always doing dope hey, things, sis. Hey, 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 hey that's hey, right. Hey. <laughs> so dope, sis. Hello, everybody. What's but up, y'all? Hey, yes, Zoe, welcome, thank you for yeah. watching. Come on through. Come into the space. Let's talk. Let's come, talk come, 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 come. Bring your drinks, oh, bring your cocktails. What y'all drinking? Yeah. What's yeah, going what on? Drinking today? What y'all drinking today? Oh, what you drinking, Kay? So I'm sipping on some, uh, this is this guava juice that I had mixed with a little, a little bit of, um, like leftover rum that I had. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guava juice and rum. Guava and rum. I, I could do with that actually. So <laughs> it, was, it, was kind of, it was a splash. You know, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Thank you. What y'all sipping now? I what got you a got me? Spiked coffee. Okay. Oh, spiked coffee. Oh, that sounds uh, good. Okay. Because I needed a caffeine boost, but I also wanted to get a little bit lit. So, mm -hmm. you know. Best of both worlds, looking. The best yeah. of both worlds. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> looking. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, I'm glad y'all answered because what I'm drinking is sad. I'm <laughs> some kombucha no, looking. No, I ain't got no more. Okay, but listen, it's spike kombucha. It's spike kombucha though. It's wild oh. tonic. It's called. It's a hard kombucha. 
Oh, so, okay. I'm oh, trying oh, to yeah. little, right. I'm trying a little good bad situation right now. A little, little healthy unhealthy, but I'm still putting it in a champagne glass because I still have a little bit of honey right? because, yes. because you're right. She is right. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> that's all we we'll drink kombucha in my champagne glass. in a in a flute. Okay. <laughs> right. 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 That's funny. Honey. Hilarious. I'm with you. So I'm post in the comments, y'all, what you drinking? Because we can't be the only ones out here. What y'all sipping on? And yes, I know on the East Coast, stuff. it's a little later. It's Friday night. It's after mm -hmm. 7. Mm -hmm. So I know y'all sipping on something. Mm -hmm. So what y'all sipping on? Right. <laughs> Let's see. Y'all sipping on. Tell us. Hey, Sassy. Hi, Sassy. Sassy from Brooklyn. Yes, my peoples is here. Hey. Well, do you all want to talk while we while we waiting for people to say what they're drinking? Do you want to talk about the BAN of the week or you want to talk about something else? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> What's on your mind? I mean, I had a BAN of the week, but it's not a specific person. It's just like an annoyance that I've had all week off. All week mm, long. Okay. Um, because clearly, um, how many people are on unemployment right now? About 40 million people. Mm -hmm. And there's a large percentage of those people who have never drawn unemployment benefits benefits a day in their life Ever. and yeah we are going through a pandemic yes ma'am mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so the this idea that everybody on unemployment is lazy and mooching off the system and i'm like I, I i literally have seen so many posts about it this week that is driving me crazy mm -hmm. so the ban just goes out to all the people who feel like we want to be on unemployment right now <laughs> right right because right. i don't right I saw something that I guess the Republican Party, I think one of the reasons why they're having a stalemate about the stimulus package mm -hmm. right now is because there's a lot of them that feel like people are taking advantage of the government, which I think is so interesting, right? Very interesting. You get subsidies. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of wealthy people got either loans or grants from their family. That's how or, they, absolutely. That's how they, they do take it. advantage of the government. They take advantage. <laughs> but then the nerve to say, probably ain't worth a day in your life. Probably always had somebody putting money in your bank account and got the nerve to say, I don't want people to feel uh, lazy or to feel like they're not, they don't want to go back to work. Here. Take your ass on a field somewhere and work a full day just once in your life. How about that? And then criticize somebody. Come on. A hundred percent. There's this tweet. This is tweet that I have retweeted this week. Um, this dude has said $600 is $15 an hour for 40 mm -hmm. hours. If someone is making more on unemployment than the that then that is the real problem that exactly. the job that is actually the pay problem. a living yeah. wage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the 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 sheer fact that you're saying like, oh, you're taking advantage of the system, so you you know you leave your job so you can get the six hundred dollars a week, so right. you can make more than you used to make. The fact that anybody was making any less than that is absolutely ridiculous. Exactly. Because right. How the exactly. hell is anybody supposed to live? How you can't live. live off of six hundred dollars. Exactly. So, yeah. Unless you're living the sticks. Right, right, right. So clearly, exactly. clearly, like the system got us fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you're mad at the wrong people. Right. 100%. Because if y'all got laid off tomorrow, your ass would be on unemployment too. Like, and you pay into unemployment. So and you pay into it. Exactly. I cannot, I, yeah. how can, I can't reap what I have sold. Honey. Right. Exactly. Right. Okay. Right. Like right. How, like how much, how much in unemployment have I paid? Have my taxes, over the last hey, <laughs> you're right How much have I paid for you to sit at home and not come up with a stimulus bill? Okay. How, how about that? Right? And, and who's paying your, and who's paying your bills? Uh, right. Who's right. paying your who, who's who's paying your salary? Who's uh, paying your exactly? Anyway, and they're going on vacation again. Right. Uh, we are. So oh, let me, no, that's, that's let me okay. bring it in. Let me bring it in. But <laughs> we have lots to talk about today. Today is going to be a great episode because my girl Brittany Shakira is in the house. Woo! Yay! And we want to actually go ahead and bring her on and, you know, get her involved in question of the day yes, and yes. just start to talk to our sister in power yes. of the week. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let me get her bio. Mm -hmm. I had it up, but y'all know. This kombucha is actually kind of banging and I feel like it's got a little something in it because I'm feeling kind of good. <laughs> the taste better oh, because it's, it's in there too. It's a cute really? color. It's like a hard cider, but with kombucha. I'm feeling it, and I didn't think I would. So hey, okay, that sounds. Somebody else said they're drinking Corona Light. Hey, Jackie Tabor, Jacqueline Tabor, thank you for joining. Corona Light, listen, tip my hat to you. Hey, Camille, I see you in here, sis. Hello, I think Camille's on my watch party. Yay! Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. Y'all, thank All you right. for spending your Friday with us. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We so are now forever for our special guest. I will be reading her bio. But before I read her bio, I just want to give our viewer some context about how I know Brittany. We went to college together years ago. And I met her in 2001 in the dorms <laughs> at Eastern Kentucky University. Uh, she's a native of Lexington, Kentucky. And we have, just, we have so many stories together, but I've just been seeing her blossom, you know, over the years. And I'm just so proud of all the things that she's doing. Mm -hmm. And just to see somebody, you know, this is what you work for. You know, you, the American dream of going to college and, you know, making something of yourself. And just to mm -hmm. see like, in all of her highs and lows and ebbs and flows of life, she has come out on top and she is just such an inspiration to me and countless other women. And I am so excited that she is here today. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta share some stories with y'all. Okay? Yeah, honey, I want, I want some tea, okay? Yes. Some, <laughs> some, 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 some <laughs> the stories is real out here. Yeah, but, her bio, I'm going to read her bio. Brittany Shakira is a 17 year professional in the addiction and recovery field, mm -hmm. a self proclaimed fitness junkie, and owner of the up and coming Shakira collection. She specializes in promoting physical fitness and healthy lifestyle transformations for women challenged with mental health struggles, physical health concerns, mm -hmm. personal failures, and balancing everyday life. Because of her personal approach, Brittany Shakira is a powerful force in this arena, as she too has dealt with these battles and able to overcome them through spiritual growth, determination, and perseverance. Brittany is inspired by inspiring others to begin their journey and never allowing herself to be controlled by her personal circumstances again. Dedicated to uplifting women in her community to break the bondage of low self-esteem through physical fitness and living a healthy lifestyle. Brittany dedicates much of her time targeting women who are faced with similar challenges. Brittany's most recent endeavors carry the torch of empowerment. The Shakira Collection is a swimwear line designed to encourage body positivity, self-love, and self-esteem. Brittany believes all women should feel good at every size, every age, and at any stage in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are about to bring on my sis. Welcome. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, I'm coming. Hey. 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 Okay, I ain't got no DJ. DJ right, 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 right. Right. We, need, we need to throw Meg back on there so we can, you know, do a little thing. Right? I know, right? Yes, girl. Welcome. Welcome to the yes. Welcome to the set, Brittany. Thank Woo! you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Like, of this is... Course. um. This is this is this is cool. I appreciate y'all ladies so so much. Thank you. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Please let everybody know where you're calling in from, where you're, okay. where you're streaming from. So I'm I'm in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So I'm in actually a suburb of Arlington, really, but we'll just say DFW. We'll just say okay. that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Girls, it hot down there this summer? I know. It's I it was probably about 102 or 3 today. Ooh. I didn't even really Ooh, go Lord outside, to be honest. <laughs> it was at least 100 degrees today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just even stayed in the house. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for being here with us. Thank and you. Your day, of course, of course. And we would love to get this started with our question of the day. We want to bring you in with the question okay. of the day. Mm -hmm. Carrie, what is the question? Of the yeah. Day? So oh, it's, it's okay. Real, here we go. Shoot. No, it's, it's, a real, it's a real cute, simple question. It's a real okay. Cute, okay. Here question. we go. All right. But I like mine. <laughs> so if you could be any plants, oh, oh, how would you be? How would you want to emerge from the earth and come forth into this mm. world? Okay, I got my so my the first too. thing that comes to mind, the first thing, well, is a rose. And there's, Ooh, there's two reasons. That. Two reasons, yes. okay? Roses are, um, they're, let's see, they have the prickly, you know, the stem mm -hmm. prickles mm -hmm. on the outside. So they have this outside cover that's, mm -hmm tough the exterior that that you know you're like oh, i don't know if i want to get too close 
with that rose when it blooms. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like you can, I mean, like you can put it in any setting. You put it on the table. You can use it in a wedding. You could use mm -hmm. it at a funeral. I mean, they're mm -hmm. there too. And so it goes in any setting. So I think, yeah, yeah probably a rose. Those are my oh, that's beautiful. Those are my favorite, but I love rose. Well, I love tulips yeah. too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love that was that. hard, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think about it. <laughs> I'm, trying to think. I'm thinking so too. <laughs> that was uh, like, that was that was a little difficult uh, on the uh, spot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, that's true. That's true. I had time to marinate on because I came up with you. Know, I, was like, I know. <laughs> like, you had it. <laughs> but so I personally, I would be a palm tree. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I wasn't going to address that, but of course. I, you know, just because, you know, I, I love, love, I love to be in tropical climates. I yeah. just want to be tall and like swaying mm. in the wind, and, but strong, mm. you know what I'm saying? Strong. And, and um, I, I, it's funny because I was talking to, to Candy about this. Candy's my partner, uh, Brittany. And so she was okay. saying the first time she saw me on one of those scooters, yeah. Like, you know, she was like that 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 would be like kind of me like as a palm tree just like <laughs> in the wind. <laughs> in the wind. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the hair, yes. Exactly. I can see it. I can see it. I, that's, it. that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. About <laughs> y'all. I, I think I have one. What okay. Um, I would be a Venus fly trap so I can eat my haters. Ah! <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I did not expect yes. it. So what you trying to tell yes. me is that you should change, Mo? Okay, you're not gonna write okay. up on me Mo, you were so really not gonna do. Y'all seen them Venus fly traps? They be opening <laughs> and they be looking all pretty, but don't get too close. Right. Right. Act like you know. You better act like you know. Right. Or I'm gonna chop you. Lord, I be a Venus fly trap. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean come on. <laughs> Um, for me, oh. I, it's funny because I would have never thought of this, but I I would be an orchid. Yeah, oh, I have about. Yeah, love orchids. I I love orchids. My husband gives me an orchid every year for Valentine's Day. I I have about twelve of them in my house. I just love them. There's something about them that feels so. They stand. They're steady. They, yeah. um, but they have grace and they're beautiful and they also are temperamental. Like you can't do too much. Like right. if you come in doing too much, they are not trying to hear it. Uh, but yep. if you leave them alone, they will blossom and grow and yep. continue mm -hmm. to bloom. I think people are always like, I don't know what to do with orchids. Leave them alone and water them. them and let them right. be. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, leave them alone. Oh, I That'll be mine. I could so, yes, I can see that. I could totally see that. I mean, I love that. that's your response. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Oh, I just say um, hello to Vanette. Uh, hello, this, Vanette. Hey. I'm so happy to see you on here. Much love. She is one of the dopest jazz singers from Trinidad and Tobago. I hey. love you, sis. I'm so happy you joined us. And hello, Don from Virginia. Thank you guys so yes, much. Yes, thank you. Yes, thanks She's for coming new. through, y'all. Thank you so yes. much. So grateful okay, to awesome. have you. So, yes. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this new song. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me sip a little bit. <laughs> she had it for a little, tap it off a little bit, okay. <laughs> Not a little bit. <laughs> um, you know, this is gonna be our, our, our little piece of um, culture for the week, um, mm. pop culture. Meg mm. the Stallion and the Cardi B released a yeah. new song. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes it is. titled "Why." Right. And I'm like, okay, why? Why would you talk about why? Right. I was like, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> until I found out that. WAP was an acronym for. <laughs> Don't say it. Man. Don't shoot. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> right. Um. But no, we all grown on here. We grown. She goes wet ass it. pussy. Oh my God! <laughs> you know what? Hey, you know what? I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not prepared for this conversation. I was not. I just we keep it real on the set, okay? Oh, well worn. <laughs> All the way, 100. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's what it means. Okay, girls. Um. So then I went over to YouTube and watched the video, and I was like, okay, this is cute, but. You know, people are like really going in about it. I'm 
Let's yeah. get y'all's thoughts on what y'all feel about the song, what y'all feel mm. about the message, what y'all mm. feel. Um, how y'all feeling about Miss mm. Cardi and Chris Megan? I want to hear what our guest has to say first, and then I'll. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Though. So here's the thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a okay, beehive. Okay. There's the stallions and then there's the Barty gang. And I have yeah. been a Barty gang member since called? day one. The Barty gang. So I am I am a Cardi fan. I can't okay. do anything but tell you that I love Cardi. I have always loved you know why? Be, not because we really can relate, but because she's real. She she yes. literally right. never love changed who she yes. was from when she was Teeth was jacked and she was on what right. 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 Like right. she has not changed. And I love that about her. And she says exactly what she's thinking on her songs, yeah. when she's yeah. on her Instagram. And that's why I love Cardi. So, I mean, you know, that's what she was thinking. Her and Meg was thinking she needs to write a song about. I'm here for it. Why? <laughs> I ain't yeah. mad at all. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's like you kind of can't be mad, you know. I'm here for the WAP. I'm just saying. So <laughs> I support that, and I and I agree with you. Like that's that's how I feel. I, I have a lot of respect for Cardi B just because she does keep it all the way real. And then all the way. also, like I mean, I. I Personally, I don't care what nobody got to say. Like, I thought the video was really interesting. I thought it visually it was like Rollins is like okay, this, mm-hmm. this is cool. Um, but oh, but man. also, I love like we need to be embracing our bodies as women, like period. And okay. and 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 say especially it, like when it comes to louder. having comment, yo. We need to no. I'm just <laughs> yeah. yeah, say it louder like, for the people we, in the back. We, we, we don't have we don't really have those conversations about being able to embrace our bodies, like, like, embracing our sexual experiences, owning yes. them. You know what I'm yes. saying, and and not and not letting them define us, but just you know yes. knowing who we are and our sexuality and, mm. and and all that we give to the world. Like I ain't mad at that. Cool, like yeah, do your thing. Yeah. Do your yes. thing. So that's uh, you know, I was all prepared to hate the video till I saw <laughs> the video, and I didn't even know who Meg the Stallion was. And you know, kind of being a cute, but <laughs> Meg the Stallion, on the other hand, honey, is a whole snack and a bag of chips. <laughs> so, you know, I was cool with that from jump. And, uh, you know, honestly, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Who that is? Bro, I was like. <laughs> I mean, you know, I think Cardi, I have much respect for Cardi. I think Cardi, Cardi right now is our generation. I wish I knew what the name was, but the way she gives political news in her Mm -hmm. Cardi voice, Mm -hmm. I live, I live for her. I live for her. I'm not, I'm not a fan of her music. Well, not even a fan, but I don't know her from her music so much, but I am here for her political commentary and for the way that she is who she is. And she still uses her platform the way she does matter all day. That said, I feel like this video, someone uh, did a post online and they were like, if you were digging Grace Jones back in the day, then there, there's no mm. way. And Adina Howard, there's no way you can be coming from Meg Thee Stallion right now and Cardi B. That's so real. All the way real. That's um, real. If you liked, you know, if you like Josephine Baker, you know what I mean? Like yes. there's so many ways that women have chosen to use sexuality in their careers. I'm hoping that they made this decision for themselves. And if they mm-hmm. did, I think it was a badass video. Hell it's yeah. Crazy. That video was dope. Yeah, yeah so, I get it. I much love and respect, y'all. Like that. And if you hear me going <laughs> in, some, mm, in this house, oh, we can't. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Just join me. Just join me. That's it. Just join me. Hey. <laughs> just exactly. Just like <laughs> I agree with me? y'all. I no, I, I completely agree with you. I mean, I just feel like it's 2020 now. Can we stop telling women what to do with their bodies and how to Real present course. their sexuality? Like, yeah. this is how they feel. And let's be honest, y'all like it. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay, because okay. I just splits it. across some chairs That's right hard. now, Aaron would be right. like, "Okay, girl, right. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean." But I, it's, I just think that it's so dope that women can be empowered in who they are, and they just don't care, and they're just real, and I love it. I love and it. also, can we, can we, can we also celebrate? Like Carrie was talking about, like when you take your power sexually back, mm. and when you promote that in such a loud, in-your-face way, yeah. it's always interesting to me how people, even women, especially women of color, have a problem with that. It's like, right. come yeah. on now, yeah. you know, good and well. 
Good That's a well. whole conversation yeah. that I would love yeah. to have one day on the set. But real talk, Come because the, a, a lot of times, like the way that that young women are raised, as opposed to the way that young men are raised, right? Is right. that like you're not supposed to be sexual? This is supposed something you're supposed to pay for your husband, and that's the only person that's, a, and you're not supposed to embrace who you are as a right. sexual creature, right? right? And you're supposed to suppress that. Nah, fuck all that. Like. I, I, I thoroughly I thoroughly believe that like we are put on this earth to 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 like enjoy the pleasure of uh, that Are our body we? perceives. Like we have these senses and these nerves for a reason. For like a reason. Come, well, come on now. So yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that. That reclamation a hundred percent. Every woman so, should have as many orgasms as possible before she dies. That's all I'm saying. Say it. Yes. That's all I'm saying. If you do nothing else. In this lifetime, darling. <laughs> that is it right there. Stop <laughs> suppressing the orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. It's that simple. <laughs> anyway, that's all I was saying about you. You are loved <laughs> and you deserve it. Yeah. Right. So. I'm, I'm about to just. Word of, day. Day. word of the day. Word of the day. Yes. <laughs> And also, hello to my mama who's on oh, here. She's yeah. just <laughs> loving it. Oh, and hey, mama, dad. <laughs> <laughs> and my mama, too. Love you, ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I love you. Tell me about loving your body and appreciating yourself. So, Good. you know, I, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Yeah, so. that's amazing. Yes. I think that's what it's about. At the end of the day, we, especially now, we have to really learn to not just embrace it, but love. Our body. Mm-hmm. At every step, I mean, it don't matter mm-hmm. how big, short, tall, whatever it is, like love mm-hmm. yourself and love your body yes. because that's that's the main problem. Yep. The mm-hmm. fact that exactly. we don't love ourselves and where we are in the moment, exactly. in that same day, today, tomorrow, yesterday is yes. where we are, is why we are, why people respond that way to, to right. videos like this and why people respond to negatively when someone says, right. you know, when the Me Too movement came out and people mm-hmm. were like, well, Me Too, you know, that happened to Me Too. And people are going, well, they don't want to hear that. Why? Right. 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 We need to talk about this. This is this right. needs to be addressed and it needs to stop, right. but it needs to be talked about first. Mm-hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Amen. And, and health and health and love of your body can be a sexual revolutionary act. Absolutely. 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 <laughs> well, honey, well, since we're talking about bodies and self-love. We got the right woman on here to help us talk about some self-esteem and body positivity. Brittany, you know, I've seen your journey over the last few few years. Um, And girl, first of all, you're beautiful no matter what, but you look amazing. To see the hard work that you have put in, I'm just so, so proud of you. So please tell us like how you got into fitness. What makes you call yourself the fitness junkie? Mm-hmm. I call myself a junkie just because I, I, I do the stuff that, you know, you don't necessarily have to do just to stay healthy. I just, mm-hmm. I just do it. Cause I like it. And so right. junkie. you just keep going back for the torture. Shout out to my <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I literally pay him every month just to torture me, but you know, whatever. Right. Um, but you know, it started actually August is such a powerful month for me because August, mm-hmm. seven years ago in August is when I started. I don't remember the exact day. I just remember it was August. Um, and and every every year this time comes around, I'm like, man, another year, mm-hmm. like committed to myself, mm-hmm. committed to, you know, just making myself a better person. And it started, I'm going to be very honest, it, was, it started because I, during my pregnancy with my son, mm-hmm. who is now seven and a half, he was born in February of, of that particular year. It was just a really hard pregnancy. And I knew in the back of my mind, it's because I was, I was overweight. Mm-hmm. I mean, I had everything from high blood pressure to low blood pressure to mm-hmm. high fluid. I mean, like it was just every, every other week, it was something new. And I knew it was because I was overweight and I just wasn't healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was eating unhealthy. I wasn't active, you know? And so what initially started out as a fitness journey really turned into a spiritual and a wealth and health and wealth health journey for myself Mm -hmm. and wellness. Um, I wanted to get into it just to look better and to, you know, get the weight off, but it really turned into healing. Um, Mm -hmm. I had, I learned that I had to start healing the trauma and the wounds that were inside before the exterior started to show, Mm -hmm. you know, the the progress of, of the actual, of the changes that I was making on the inside. Um, I think we do that a lot though. I think as women, as we get older, 
Um, we take on roles like being a wife, being a mother, being a, a boss, being an employee, being, you know, whatever it is. Um, we take on all these roles and we lose ourselves. And that's exactly what happened to me. You know, I was in my mid 20s. And by the time I had my son, I was at the end of my 20s. And the depression was real. I mean, the anxiety was out of control. I was fearful of literally everything. Oh, if I try this, but this and this, and all of every time, every sentence was followed with a what if statement, mm -hmm. as opposed to just going out and trying it and just do it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I, and that was just, that's where it started. You know, I was like, I'm tired. I'm tired of crying every mm -hmm. night. You know, I'm tired of, of living in this shell of a person, you mm -hmm. know, putting on a, the face on the outside to everybody else that everything is good. And yep. it wasn't. Um, mm -hmm. you know, and that, and that's, that's where it started. It really did. I mean, I was very, very, very overweight and very unhealthy and, um, I couldn't do much. I could walk and that's really, and that's all I did. Wow. I started out with just walking, walking a couple of blocks in my neighborhood mm -hmm. and then, uh, go home each mm -hmm. night. Um, did that a couple of, you know, weeks and kind of took it up a little notch and did a couple more blocks, did a, you know, walk, worked my way up to eventually running and then eventually getting a gym membership. Mm -hmm. So it's just, the reason it's been such a long journey, I mean, seven years and I'm still feeling like, okay, I got another goal I wanna meet. I got another mm -hmm. goal is mm -hmm. because um, I have really taken the time to heal on the inside and work mm -hmm. on me, you mm -hmm. know, and really I figure out and relearn how to maintain activity, maintain mm -hmm. myself um, while being a mom, while being yeah. an employee and now, you know, starting a business. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it has, it's been a marathon, not a sprint for sure. Right. And that's the, we talk about that all the time. You want to mm -hmm. say something, Raj? I was wondering yeah. how much did you lose all told? All in, let's see. So all in, I lost 90 pounds. Yeah. Um, and then, and yeah. <laughs> Yay, okay. Yeah. Girl. Salute. Salute. <laughs> 90 pounds. <laughs> I have, I've spent the past about two years really uh, focusing on weight training mm -hmm. just to get a different shape. So mm -hmm. I've gained about 10 or 15 pounds in muscle back and mm -hmm. so, but yeah, all in about 90 pounds. And so far it's about 10, 15 pounds of muscle. But yes. That's, so dope. Dope. that's <laughs> amazing. So congratulations. That's Thank, a you. Thank you. I, I wanted to ask like, when was there a, uh, a specific moment where it became like more of a lifestyle change for you as opposed to like, you know, this is something I'm going to, I'm, I'm a, start trying to do just so I can like look better. Like you said, like you started it off because you want to look better, but it become, it became a lifestyle change. Like, was there a, a pivotal moment where that happened or? I'm, I'll tell you the, when I started seven years ago, I'll say mm -hmm. that because before that I had, again, I've never been, I've never been an athlete. I was never mm -hmm. like a softball player, basketball, none of that. So I never really led a super active lifestyle. I was in the band, mm -hmm. but that's mm -hmm. it in high school for a couple of years. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. um, but I'd always tried different diets, South Beach, Adkins. I mean, you name it, I had tried it. So I'd done the yo-yo dieting up and down, up and down and the cabbage soup and the, you know, and I'm mm -hmm. just not gonna eat. I, that has been not eating or eating too much. Binge eating has always been an issue like for mm -hmm. me. So that yo-yo, was all of that before August of 2013. Mm -hmm. um, so it was then that I decided, okay, this time I'm just gonna take it one day at a time. I'm not even gonna put a number. I'm not gonna assign, um, oh yeah, that's my Instagram. <laughs> I'm not gonna assign a number to it. I'm not going to assign a, um, a time frame. Um, mm. But that was that was just that. Like it was then, it was at that moment that I decided, you know, that's when I'm gonna do this. Mm -hmm. Wow. What do you think? Um, I'm first of all, you are such an inspiration to me because obviously I what you're doing is incredible. How did you decide? One, um, what did you do really to curb the binge eating part of it? Like what was what do you think helped you with that piece? With the binge eating. <laughs> learning mm -hmm. how I had to retrain your brain, number one. Mm -hmm. So learning how to eat to fuel your body as opposed mm -hmm. to eating just because out of an emotion or out of a feeling right. or something right. like that. So it is it. I had to learn how to go, okay, every about every two hours, I'm eating something. 
Mm-hmm. So instead mm-hmm. of going 12 hours, you know, waking up in the morning, not eating until say six o'clock at night, and then I'm mm-hmm. eating way too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm making sure and reminding myself you're always eating and giving myself snacks, like give myself permission to have snacks because <laughs> I, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, we seem to think we can't eat. Like if right, you're dieting right, or if you're right. eating a healthy diet, you can't mm-hmm. people. I don't know why, but I was the same way. You can't eat like, yeah. why not? No, you should really, you should be eating all the time. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> you should be eating mm-hmm. about every two hours. So kind of giving you those smaller portions, you know, all throughout mm-hmm. the day, um, and, and just trying to one day at a time, trying to change that mindset and, and redirect yourself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a, that's great. That's I have, awesome. I have a question for you. Like, you know, I think weight is just such a struggle with black women in general, um, because a lot of times we weren't, we weren't raised in an environment that celebrated our bodies or, right. you know, that talked about the self love. I know for me personally, that was not a discussion that was had in my house. And so, you know, what has helped you along the way? Obviously, the fitness is the piece, but what has helped you to kind of combat that and and get through like, like what was like a dip for you that was really low? And then how did you kind of come out of that to really love yourself? And like, what Mm -hmm. advice would you give to Mm -hmm. anybody who's watching who's currently just feeling like they're hopeless in that? I would say, so probably the the best advice that I could tell anybody, and before I can give you some like personal examples, but you know, when you start anything, you always got to have a reason why. Mm -hmm. And this is the same with with fitness and it's the same with get healthy. I mean, your goal may not be to be a bodybuilder or a competitor one day. You just may want to learn how to do Zumba and that's fine, Mm -hmm. but why? You got to mm-hmm. give me the why you got to have a why or else your motivation will literally get you maybe a week. It might right. get you two weeks. Why motivation is that exterior stuff. It's right. somebody yeah. else you watched on Instagram. It's somebody you met that, you know, can tell you their story and, it, and you're like, wow, that's, that motivates me to go work out, but that'll last you about a week. Right. But mm-hmm. what your, your reason why you're in there every day. And I go super early in the morning. Mm-hmm. Why I get up every morning at four in the morning to go work out and I get my ass kicked and handed to me every freaking yeah. day. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why I have mm-hmm. a why. And that that's for everybody. You know, my why is going to be way different than, than uh, somebody else's why. So that mm-hmm. find your why that, mm-hmm. and then remind yourself every single time you don't feel like going every yeah. time you feel like kind of overeating or under eating, even every mm-hmm. time that you think, well, um, I'm not hungry. And it's been about two or three hours still drink that water. Why? Because mm-hmm. I know I need this to nourish and fuel my body to yeah. get to the next step, to get to the yeah. next step. And then one day at a time, I'm going to be there. Yeah. Um, some, I guess, you know, I've had, I feel like within this seven years, I've had <laughs> what feels like so many ups and downs. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's hard to pinpoint one um, that, yeah, it's hard to pinpoint one. I would say that a couple years ago, um, I, I decided I took a job and I was, I moved to Washington. All of my family thought, what is wrong with you? First of all, <laughs> all of them thought I was like running from somewhere or something. I got questions like, are you pregnant? And I was like, no, I ain't never had no more of them children. I don't know. <laughs> it. <laughs> um, ain't no more of them jokers coming out of me. Right, right. But you know, I, I, really felt like God took me there to isolate me, to mm-hmm. refocus me. Mm-hmm. And, and that's exactly what happened. It wasn't the necessarily the best experience. It wasn't um, a terrible experience either. But mm-hmm. I really feel like I was taken there to embark on this journey that, that's separate from what I had all, always known, what I, mm-hmm. my family, everybody that I always knew, to really get in touch with myself. Mm-hmm. and to learn me and to really learn how to stand on my own yeah yes um so when i came back it was like it was it's been i moved back here in two years ago the summer um in 2018 and ever since coming back it's been like off to the races you know and mm-hmm. and it, the just the direction of my life and 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 focus and all of those things have just been you know on the up and up I think that's probably been the biggest kind of impact that had. But I, at the same time, I had to keep in mind my why. My why has always been my kids. Yeah. I yeah. wanted to be here for my kids. Yeah. Um, 
And I'll never, I will never forget when I, after I had my son, I had a physical done and my primary doctor told me like with no uncertain terms, she said, you have to lose 90 pounds or you're going to die before you're 40. And I was like, first I was in denial, you know, (laughs) I was in denial, but she was right. I mean, Mm -hmm. cholesterol over 200 and I was in my twenties. Yeah. You know, blood pressure, 158 over 101 in my mm-hmm. 20s. You know, I was almost 300 pounds in my 20s, you know, mm-hmm. and I had two kids and I, I mean, I could barely walk, you know, two or three blocks without being winded and eating an inhaler, mm-hmm. you know, so I had to be real with myself um, at that point too, and just say, you know what, she's right. I don't want to hear it, but she's right. right. And so my why from that point forward was always, you know, I just want to be here for my kids. And yeah. it still is today. I, love that. I have a question um, <laughs> yes. for you. Because I've had I've had moments where I think everybody has moments where they lose, they gain, they lose, they gain. Has there been a time like after you lost the ninety? I know you said you 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 put on some muscle weight, but have you hit a wall? Have you had a yes. moment where you gained like twenty pounds or something like that? And then how did you get yourself back up on mm, that wagon? That's a great question. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Actually, when I moved to Washington. For two years, I I gained like 30 or 35 pounds, I think, mm-hmm. while I was there. And I I didn't, it, just like anybody else, I didn't see it coming until mm-hmm. I got on the scale and I was like, Girl. hold up. You know, I remember <laughs> like I used to wear this size and now I'm wearing double digits. I mean, I'm not back where I was, you know, but yeah. um, I had to refocus again. It was about my why. I had to, mm-hmm. when I looked at the scale and got real with myself, Brittany, like, not only are you still exercising, but you're eating trash. Like right. I was eating McDonald's and Burger King. And mm-hmm. and that's not, I don't eat like that. I just don't. But the depression had started to set in. I knew it was mm-hmm. time for me to refocus, come back. I moved back to, to uh, Dallas, th- this area. And, um, but I had to just be real with myself. I really mm-hmm. did. I mean, that's the hardest part is mm-hmm. just be honest and say, yes. you know what? I fell off and mm-hmm. I have, that's one thing I will say with my Instagram, even before now, I've been very honest on mm-hmm. there. I just be transparent. Even if you don't mm-hmm. want to watch, read it, whatever. Okay, keep going. You just want like right, right. a little booty at, t- poking out. That's fine too. But <laughs> like, I've been transparent. Like, I came back and I was, I think I had gotten back up to about 225 pounds, something like Girl. that, 220 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm only five, six, you know. So 220 look like 220 on me, you know, <laughs> it doesn't look like, you know, I'm not, I'm not 5'10", 5'9". So, right, right. Um, you know, I'm just honest. I, yeah. Be honest, be honest with whomever you're talking to, whoever's your support, be mm-hmm. honest with yourself and then mm-hmm. remember your why and just get back on it. You know, one day at a time, mm-hmm. not looking at everybody else with, cause we can tend to do that. Right. Looking at oh, everybody yeah. else saying, the oh, she looks game. so good. I just want to be right. where she is. Right. They they fall off too. We all do. Right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. Sarah. What? I appreciate you. that. Absolutely. Can I ask you some questions? What? Yes. What's some of your favorite workouts? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's some of your, like you you go to the gym. You like I'm about to get in. in. What you doing? Yeah. What you doing? <laughs> so my favorite is anything that I can pick up some weight and throw it back down. Okay. <laughs> and I, and I mean that like yeah. like for real like I'm I've never been a, a dance type of person I've been a Zumba okay. girl an aerobic I don't have any rhythm my kids stole it that's what I tell people okay. <laughs> no, no, no. my kids stole it you ain't got no rhythm I don't have none no you ain't got no rhythm nobody bring up the kids we have to get to them Kentucky shenanigans oh no you know I want to know <laughs> Then I'm about oh. to say, bring up the pit, Monique. Dang. Like, <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. She ain't got no rhythm. Oh, I told you my She had a nickname. It. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Her, her brother. Oh. Oh. What was her nickname? Ankles. Oh. Ankles. Ankles. And I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Why? Because <laughs> we used to go to this dollar club. It was pit. a dollar, y'all. It was one dollar. It was one dollar. Uh-huh. It, it, it was one dollar. And we would be like, yep. bro, we don't see Britney's face all night because Britney is holding her ankles, <laughs> busting it. Oh, 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 <laughs> like, and Britney could dance. Like, I used to look at Britney like, damn, oh, yeah, like, girl, let me get myself together. Oh, <laughs> I ain't doing it right, honey. 
<laughs> Brittany is so refined I don't know what today. you're talking about, no rhythm. I'm telling y'all, Brittany is that. refined. I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all business. Huh? Huh? Listen, Brittany, she can tell refined. if some stuff about me. Tell me if you know what I'm talking about. Brittany is refined. Uh, mm. Mm. Okay. Like I said, okay. my, my kids took my rhythm. And so. They took your rhythm. Okay, girl. <laughs> <laughs> when I had kids, yeah, they took it. Reunion, and you know what I'm saying? You're going to be better know about dangles. You know what I mean? That might be another reason why I'm a Cardi fan. Oh, oh right. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, as far as the workout goes, so mm-hmm. I've never been a Zumba person. I never, my sister loves Zumba. she be trying to get me to come. Mm-hmm. Honey, I don't, mm-mm, I'm good. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, I'm not a, much of a car. I used to run a lot. I tried running, mm-hmm. but my my I don't have no Meg the Stallion knees anymore. So uh, that right, right knee, mm-hmm. that right, right knee reminds me you are 36. Right. You on the upswing of 40. So yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to I, anything that's lift. I love lifting. Like it just okay. makes me feel strong. Like I am strong, but then it makes you feel like yeah. Which I wish you would. Mm-hmm. You know, right, so. right. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> that makes you feel good. So yeah, anything I can lift weights. That's that's my favorite. Yeah, you yeah. Be beast. Then I be watching your videos on Instagram. Like, let me go pick up some weights. <laughs> and you are very right. bold, sis. Because I don't want to be skinny. I just want the toned uh, belly and the booty. And yes. your, okay. your body is when bacon. I'm telling you, listen to me yes. when I say lift weights, sis. Yes. Lift yes. weights because it's yes. so. So, so, so many that think it's about the number on the scale. It's I, Yes, it's about the number a little bit. The scale is a tool. Like, you right. just a tool to kind of yeah. give you right. an idea of where you at and whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's really about what you see in the mirror, So which, what it, which is the shape. Mm-hmm. If, and yeah. you're going after a shape. And if you really want a sorry, particular shape, lift right. weights. Right, yeah. you know, pick up them right. weights and right. throw them, put them back down on the ground, and pick right. them up again, and put, put them yeah. back down, and pick them up again, and put them back down. Mm-hmm. And if you can't do it, get to a trainer that can do it for help you do it. And you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. that's really what it's about. Like, I, I'll just put this out here. At my heaviest, I was two hundred seventy-five pounds. Today, I average anywhere between like one ninety-five, one ninety-eight. Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. I ate really bad or ate, ate good, I should say that 200. <laughs> and good. but I know I don't look at most people will be like, no, you look about 160, 170, but it's because I lift weights. I'm trying to, mm-hmm. I try to you got that muscle. Listen, put exactly weights in your daily, every other day regimen, okay. lift weights. Okay. I've been lifting okay. Yeah. Lately, so I'm gonna go, go, go. <laughs> I got to be solid any day, child. Go ahead. Cause, cause I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm always yeah. like, and, and that's real, you know what I mean? And, and so <laughs> I've always, I remember always like wanting like a booty and whatever growing yeah. up. And, and so I had always been nervous about lifting weights because I had been told like, that's not, that's not going to help you like get thick, Carrie, you know? But I say all that to say, I just wanted to know like, what, what are um some, I guess like specific exercises that you might be able to suggest that don't like minimize what you got going on mm-hmm. but can just kind of help with because i'm trying to hold on to what i have yeah I'm, yeah you know, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're trying to build a booty is what you're telling me hey like, you trying to build the booty up wanna, a little bit more yeah. I mean, kind of hey. give it a little more shape okay and, yeah, and everything yeah. that like deadlift squats it, there's so many forms of squats, lunges, walking lunges, weighted lunge, put some weight back here, mm-hmm. walk with it, you know, 100, you know, 50 yards or something like that, back and mm-hmm. forth. I mean, the, of course, right now, like people, everybody want a booty, you know, everybody going to buy booties and hips and so all that is, stuff, honey. you know, <laughs> but you don't have to do that. You don't have to do it. You don't have to, like, don't, matter of fact, don't, but like, it's right. really about like, pick up the weights. Mm-hmm. Put it back down. Right. Mm-hmm. Pick it up. Put it back down. Now, if you really want to, you know, to really focus on like your lower body, it's all about your squats, your lunges, your right. um, even the high intensity stuff. Because sometimes, yeah. even if you're a, naturally a smaller frame, you might have a little fat mm-hmm. here and there. So it's like take, you know, losing that fat but building the muscle on top mm-hmm. of it. Yeah. So right. Even some of the high intensity workouts, those those mm-hmm. help. But okay. really focusing on lifting weights and putting that the, the focus on your your lower half. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Appreciate you. Yes, ma'am. Get it. <laughs> I have one more question. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, what, yeah. No, 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 no you me. go. No, go. I was just, um, so what made you decide, Brittany, that you, do, you because you were doing your fitness journey yourself. What mm -hmm. made you finally decide that you wanted to make this a career? Like, this is your lifestyle. This is your mm -hmm. so, brand. So, it, um, hmm, really, um, COVID. I had, you know, they, they took me out of the office. You know, I love, I have a full-time job um, yeah. still, you know, because I have kids and I got to, you know, pay bills and stuff. And mm -hmm. so I had still have my full-time job and um, I like what I do. You know, I like, mm -hmm. and, but they sent us at home. So I work from home and mm -hmm. that, you know, they, that opened up some creative space in my head. Mm -hmm. And so, and time. And I, you know, I've heard people have said, you know, and kind of fed into me, for years and said, Brittany, you need to brand yourself, which mm -hmm. your story is remarkable. Like people need to hear this. People need to know the whole story. Yes. And so, but I never had time and never really focused on like, okay, whatever. I just do it to encourage other women. Mm -hmm. um, so really COVID, I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest, I was mm -hmm. at home and I thought, okay, well, I have some extra time to, um, to really think about where I want this to go and what I want to do with it. And, yeah. um, my the name Shakira. Look, here's the here's the shirt. Here's, hey. And I got some shirts for y'all. Oh, I got some oh, shirts for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna send you some shirts. Hey, yeah, honey. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> so the um the name Shakira is my middle name actually, mm -hmm. and my great grandfather gave me the name. And the story is said that it is a um, a native Native American name that means. Uh, Tiger. Brittany me strong, mm -hmm. middle name, Tiger. Um, mm -hmm. Another so, reason why you like the Cardi B video, but it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> exactly. But I just wanted to, I wanted to bring that full circle. You know, yeah. what does that even mean? What does it mean to me? What does it mean to, you know, other women out here? I want to embrace us to embrace our inner strength and bring it out. Let us see that, you know? And so that's really what, what it is. I mean, COVID gave me some time on my mm -hmm. hands <laughs> and, and, and just, you know, just space to, to really think about and create. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome. I feel like this, this whole situation has, you know, as bad as it sucks, it has really opened up doors for a lot of folks and just mm -hmm. gotten people in the mindset of like, okay, I'm on this pause. Like, what can I do in this time? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I think that's really great that yeah. this is kind of what is pushing you out. Because, honey, the world needs to see Brittany Shakira, okay? Yes, Because you are such yeah. an inspiration and just, ugh. I ha Somebody has a question. Oh, I yes. I, I, did you see that question? I did, yes. Vonette. Okay, so uh, my friend Vonette said, I've lost 27 pounds in the last year. Any suggestions for getting my arms toned? She said, y'all can keep the booty. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, so okay. Aside from lift weights, like I've been saying, mm -hmm. I would say one thing that I do, especially with my legs, because boy, 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 these legs, these thighs are they are they a whole nother beast. And it's is I actually wrap my my legs, and you can do that with your mm -hmm. arms. If what you're worried about is that excess skin, which I still have, you know, mm -hmm. I got it. It's right there. Um, to help tone it, to help kind of lose the inches in that one particular area, take your saran wrap. And they make all these things on the market. Yes, they do. Um, mm -hmm. You can buy them if you choose, but you can also just get you some old school plastic wrap and wrap your arms every time that you work out or your legs, if your legs are the area that you want to work on or your stomach. Mm -hmm. um, um, what does the I saran use, wrap do? I, honey, I need some. I need some little saran wrap it, action. It helps. It's just it's same similar situation as if you were wrapping your stomach mm -hmm, when you mm -hmm. when you you know you take your neoprene wrap or if you take plastic wrap and wrap it around there too. Mm -hmm, it's right. just it helps you lose inches in that one particular area. So if your focus is arms, say it again. I'm sorry. I think Vonette wanted to tone her arms up, like make them okay. make them bigger, right, Vonette? You want them? You want them? You want to bulk them up a little bit? Oh yeah. Yeah. So I say my suggestion is always going to be lift weights, weight resistance and uh, yeah. and and weight lifting are going to be your go to. So you can do some cardio, but you got to get on them on those machines. You got to get on those free weights. 
right. lift weights. Or, and if you are afraid, a lot of us are afraid to, I was, I definitely was. Um, and it took me going to boot camp classes and to get comfortable with even picking up a weight before I was mm-hmm. comfortable doing it by myself. So yeah. go to a class, go to a couple of boot camp classes, learn how to lift weights, learn how to properly, you know, hold them. Yeah. How to properly the form is everything. Like yeah. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, definitely weight, weight training, weight resistant training. That's important. Mm-hmm. Lots of so, water. You can even wrap yeah, your arms water. Mm-hmm. So how important do you feel like cardio is? Because, you know, you see folks going in, in the gym, doing an hour worth of cardio. And I, I, have been doing more cardio but i have been trying to lift more but like what what do you think the balance is do you Mm -hmm. you know what's your takes on cardio i think that you of course it's different for everybody kind of depends on what the Mm -hmm. goal is Mm -hmm. but i think a good balance is again if your goal is weight is toning is building a a shape of any sort if it's arms upper body lower body whatever it is a good balance is 20 to 30 minutes of cardio at the mm-hmm. end of the workout. You can start it with maybe five or 10 to kind of warm up and do the remaining 20 minutes or so at the end of the workout. But weight training, do your cardio 20, like I said, 20 to 30 minutes is a good balance with it. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't want to overdo it with cardio because then you're gonna you're gonna burn off that muscle. Like you're mm-hmm. you're gonna look, you still look flat and you don't want to look right. flat. So mm-hmm. you don't want to overdo it. Sometimes people are doing an hour. Um, you know, of cardio, if their goal is something pretty extreme, like Mm -hmm. getting on stage or something like that. But Mm -hmm. if you're generally just trying to maintain good health, I would say maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Vanessa says she want Angela Bassett arms. Listen, (laughs) listen, okay, okay. Okay. I know know that's right. I, I want to yeah. lose these. I don't want to lose these. Angela, right? she, yes, <laughs> Angela looks good with her arms. Okay. She does. Yes. Yes, she, she does. does. Yes. yes. Well, yes, I she have does. another question for you. So, you know, we're obviously talking about physical fitness, mm-hmm. but there's also a huge part of this, which is our mindset and our mind mm-hmm. and our mental health. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you talked a little bit about like your, your, Um, struggles with like depression and anxiety and Mm -hmm. you know what have you done over the years have there been any books that you've read that have helped with your um your health your mental health or um is it just the working out like what's kind of like your power combination for for total wellness yeah well uh meditation and prayer those are my two things Mm -hmm. i right now my the only book that i would say i'm probably reading is, is michelle obama's becoming Mm -hmm. Um, my mom gave that to me and I'm actually just now starting to dig into it but Mm -hmm. that's it yeah it's a good book but Mm -hmm. meditation and prayer and I learned to pray everywhere I pray all the time Mm -hmm. I'm in the car I you know anytime I get a chance to just take step aside and and center myself and give myself that 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 level of peace yes that has been so 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 important for me um I've, I've been to therapy. I've been through therapy. And, and I think that's important. Yes. I think it's very important. There's nothing wrong with having a therapist on hand, on speed dial, having a yes. as a therapist. I got Real, a couple yes. of friends. Yes. Um, yes. But at the end of the day, it does come down to us using those tools in our yeah. life. Right. The mm-hmm. tools that you're learning in therapy, in counseling. Right. Um, and put that put that stuff into work, you know, mm-hmm. in, right. into yeah. your everyday life. Um, yeah. And for me, it came, it was about making sure that I pray, making sure that I don't allow that fear and that anxiety and the Mm -hmm. depression. When I see it starting to kind of set on my shoulders and sink in, I can feel it on my shoulders. I can feel it in my mind, Mm -hmm. not allowing it to stay there. Mm -hmm. Um, Reminding myself, hey, get up, Mm -hmm. keep moving, get up Mm -hmm. and move. Um, One thing for me, when the depression really starts to kind of set in, I notice that I become um, less active. Like I will, I don't really watch a lot of TV, mm-hmm. but when it's starting to set in, all of a sudden I'm watching like TV shows and I'm binge watching on Netflix and, and I'm like, okay, that's not even me. Like I'm a lot more active person. So I have to, you know, you pick up on those things as you, mm-hmm. as you kind of go along and you learn, you learn, you know, more about yourself and through the journey. So. Mm-hmm. Um, someone else just made a comment. Um, Nick, someone, uh, oh, it's Lasagna. Hi, Lasagna. Thank you for joining lady. Um, she said, I just started walking only one mile, but I'm moving. My lower back is killing me. Any suggestions? Mm. Stretching. Mm-hmm. Stretch. 
Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If you are not already stretching mm -hmm. before you work out, especially mm -hmm. if you're, this is new to you, you know, mm -hmm. make sure, I don't care if it's just walking, yep. you work your way up to jogging, stretch. Mm -hmm. You got to mm -hmm. stretch. Yeah. Um, a lot of times our body will just do kind of crazy stuff when it's in shock about mm -hmm. new stuff that right. we're doing, working out, mm -hmm. exercising, walking, running, lifting weights. Our body, body is kind of going like, what, what's going on? Yeah. Um, and so stretch. I would say just before you work out, make sure that you stretch afterwards and yeah. then take a good hot bath, you know, and in between those workouts, make sure you're still stretching. Even if you just do Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Tuesday and Thursday, still stretch, mm -hmm. make sure your body, you know, you're getting a good, good, you know, stretch in there in between those days. So, so who, who are, who are, um, I would say some of your like, you know, workout inspirations, who are some people you'd be watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have, let's see on I have a couple on um, Instagram. There's a there's a girl that she's over here. She's in Dallas. Her name is Golden Fitnick. I think it's her name. Golden. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. She's just a beast. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I just, I'll be, I'll be mm -hmm. like, yeah. She just pushed a whole F one fifty. I'm gonna do that Ooh, one day. Like. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like she's a she's a beast. Like y'all need to go look at age. She. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For real. She's a beast. And then there's another one. Her name is. Um, Follow the Lita, I think the Lita. Oh yeah, um, I've heard of her. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of her. She just, yeah. I just, love her. I just think she's sweet. Like, I mean, she's, she's in, she's gorgeous. She's in a really good shape. She, you know, she does her thing fitness wise. Yeah. But I yeah. think she's very, um, you know, she's just like a regular person. That's how I look at her. Like, oh, that she looks good. She's doing her thing. Got a family thing going. And that's so those two are probably my my uh, my favorite my go to people when I'm like what am I gonna do today you know yeah. <laughs> yes yeah. scroll yeah. with that see what the workout on yeah yeah okay okay I have a question for you about juggling parenthood and a healthy mm -hmm. lifestyle because mm -hmm. a lot of times our children are not eating what we are eating mm -hmm. and how do you balance that because mm -hmm. you have two children as well so mm -hmm. cute. Um, are they getting so big? I remember when Jordan was a little tiny baby. I know. Why is she, did she just celebrate a birthday? And she's, she's, yep, yeah, she just yeah. turned 11 and she 11. is like the same height as me. We wear the same shoe size. Wow. <laughs> oh. wow. Golly, so yes. beautiful. So Thank beautiful. So beautiful. So, how do you mm -hmm. strike that balance with them? Do you, do they eat the way you eat? Do you, are, is your mentality in just such a great place now that you're able mm -hmm. to like get them their food and their snacks and you're like nope I ain't having none of this like how how does that work for you so I'll say early on I tried to to change them to eat exactly what I ate and then mm -hmm. I realized like they're still kids like I didn't have to do that when I was a kid mm -hmm. right. so I still allow them to be kids mm -hmm. you know they can they still have their snacks and they still have pizza and stuff like that um but I always make sure there are, there are some staples that we have. Always have vegetables. Mm -hmm. Even if they're having a slice of pizza. <laughs> if they're having pizza, I would put some broccoli on that plate. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've okay. been like, doing that too. Right. They, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. so serious. I will throw yeah. some peas, That's some right. broccoli, some green beans yeah. mm -hmm. on that plate. And, yeah. you know, just to kind of, you know, Get them in the habit of having healthy Some eating healthy habits, right. mm -hmm. as opposed to just eating three or four slices of pizza and then that fills you up. Well, how about one slice and some vegetables and you, right. some, mm -hmm. you know? I always make sure I I have water, like a ton mm -hmm. of water at home. And mm -hmm. so instead of them just having to have plain water, which is usually what I have, mm -hmm. there's crystal light packets or there's right. like the little juice packets you can pour into it, which have like mm -hmm. no calories, no sugar, you know, right. none of that stuff. So mm -hmm. they're still creating these really good healthy habits that mm -hmm. they don't even realize they're creating, but right. it will last them a lifetime versus yeah. yes. back in the day, we used to make a whole, you know, jug of Kool-Aid Kool and, <laughs> and sugar and that's it, you know, and yeah. it was basically sugar tastes mm -hmm. like a popsicle, you know, yeah. and I had to change that as I got older, but you know, yeah. just putting those little little things in place for them, so they don't awesome. feel. I love that. That's, you know. that's a that's really great advice. Yes. Um. So a couple more comments. Um. Lasagna was saying, how long should you stretch? Is it like a what do you what do you when you typically do a stretch test, and even when you don't work out, how long do you typically stretch to warm up? Or when I'm not working out, so if the mm -hmm. day I did not train, I usually mm -hmm. stretch for a good twenty minutes, twenty mm -hmm. to thirty minutes. And I'm talking about the whole body, arms, yes. everything, your neck. I mean, 
all of it, all the way down your back, your legs, your calves, your everything. It probably mm -hmm. takes about a good 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. And then Vonette said, do you exercise every day? Which you kind of just answered, but is your, mo is so, your goal to exercise every day or? I am in the habit of working out about five to six days a week. Mm -hmm. um, those off days usually are the weekends are usually Saturday, Sunday, because it's just so busy on those days. But mm -hmm. I'm in the habit of working out about five to six days a week on um, those mm -hmm. off days. You know, like I said, they're usually weekends, but I still will stretch. I'll still be active. Like I'm still out and about. I'm still walking around. I'm still getting, you know, burning calories, mm -hmm. but just not you're in the gym going hard for an hour and a half or so. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. So I have a question. I have one last question. Then I want you to mm -hmm. talk about the Shakira collection, girl. Okay. I can't yes. Wait to come. Yes, yes, honey. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Yay. My, we got to show question. some of that. Yes, we do. We have to show some some of the swimwear. Um, but my my last question for you is like, what is your goal with your fitness? Mm -hmm. Girl, I see mm -hmm. these in the gym. Are you competing? Like, what? Is, like, if you could see yourself a year or two from now, and you you're at like your optimal fitness, you know, goal. What does that yeah. look like for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This is this comes <laughs> the time that I have to speak that goal out loud. Honey, yeah. Oh, there comes that time. <laughs> oh, manifest. Okay. Manifest. So, <laughs> oh, manifest is okay. So um I made a goal. I set a goal uh, probably about two years ago to compete. Um Ooh. for me, I know I know myself very well. <laughs> I'm just, I just have never been the six month person and I could drop the weight and boom, get, you know, I just has never been me. So I knew by the time I'm 40, I gave myself 40. Okay. Mm -hmm. That I wanted to get, I wanted to do it at least one time. So yeah. mm -hmm. we're two years in and we made progress towards that goal. Yeah. Um, the, <laughs> so by 40, so that means I have four more years. Mm -hmm. um, and, and uh, my goal is to, at, at that point, so at some point, get on jump on stage. We'll see. Yeah. Um, I love that. I say the immediate goal though is just to get in shape because you know I have to put on the swimsuit if I'm gonna put you know, you know have a swimwear line. So I want to be comfortable. <laughs> right. <wearing> it. Yes, girl. <laughs> I want to be comfortable wearing. What you doing you know, it though? Yes, yeah. <laughs> you look good. No, those. Thank I, you. I, I there a link to the line or? Yeah. How do we know so, more about the collection? Okay, so yeah, so it's the Shakira collection. It is Ooh. coming soon. Uh, ShakiraCollection.com. Right. Okay. Um, I actually just started really working on it. Really, just started putting it out there. Um, maybe about a month ago. So mm -hmm. still kind of getting samples in and trying things and doing a couple photo shoots here and there. Mm -hmm. um, but and I do have, like I said, I have shirts. I'm gonna send you guys some shirts, oh, some little you. promo shirts. That, you know, yes, that's the one I have on here. So you can wear. Can you see it? Let me get closer. Oh, yes. I love yeah. it. I love um, it. Thank so I will you. send you guys some. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Uh, yes, 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 yes. And, um, but the goal is just, you know, with that is, again, I want I want you to feel good about mm -hmm. being yourself in the skin that you're in. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, go on vacation, go to the pool that, that's local, you know, whatever. So yeah. um, they're on my page. We did my, actually, my sister is the photographer. <laughs> and uh we did a little mini shoot a couple weeks ago so there are a couple of the pieces on on my page right now um that i've been kind of trying out and um but that's you know we're working on it it's coming my plan and my goal is to kind of drop some preview wear through the fall and through the winter and then really bring out the the swimwear line by uh the end of the winter so yeah, yes. is, that, is, that, is that one the red right there? Is that yes. is that part of girl? I mean, I want that red. I, that. I need that. Yeah, yeah. the okay. black, I ain't got the, the black, the red, yet, and then the you, black. Yeah. I love the black, and then the white. Uh huh. Yeah. So can people yeah. can people order them now? 
So, well, you know, not yet. I haven't, um, I actually haven't even you know, put them excited. on there. Those are the <laughs> So, oh, okay. But I will, I look, I will come back on when I have it all up and yes. running. Girl, and yes, absolutely. And yes. we can, we can do pre orders, we can do whatever Woo! at that point, you know? Yes. <laughs> That red one right there, I already know it's gonna sell out. Me and Neek gonna buy a few. Honey, so, I'm telling you, I need the red. Listen, that I red red. was like, yeah, no, that's one of my favorite too. Like that yeah. was definitely one of my favorite too. I was like, okay. My auntie said, girl, that's it. That's it. You know, the red yeah. one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. So oh, wait, before you go though, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I need some stories about Monique from college. I need some Kentucky <laughs> news. Listen, she's telling all your business. Meanwhile, I'm she was sure. telling me, she's talking about me being called ankles, but clearly she was there. Oh, because okay. she saw. <laughs> She was at the club. She, she I was. was. I, what was the name? That's what I want to know. Oh, look at Hurricanes. Um, hurricanes. The hurricanes. Hurricanes, 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 hurricanes in the pit. We used to go to Hurricanes first. We then we go. We leave Hurricanes and walk our little drunk asses down the street <laughs> to the pit. <laughs> Girl. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. She was there too. She was there right. too. I, I, the I, came the devil. Mm-hmm. That's why she trying to say, oh, we used to call her ankles. <laughs> you did. I'm not denying being ankles back in the day. <laughs> but Monique, on the other I hand. <laughs> I was there. We used to have fun. And we used to, we used to have whoo, child, a good time. Bring your own drink in the pit and everything. Like, who does That's that? Right. Bring it up. <laughs> okay. Girl, it's not like a whole ashtray up in there. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> And we be just all night dancing <laughs> on rap music. This this was before bundles and everything else. Hair just big, come out <laughs> there, sweaty, hair yeah, frizzy, feet hurting, just just walking, just <laughs> golly, <laughs> a whole mess. Listen, well, I don't know if you remember. Sorry, we're gonna scribe. Oh no, go ahead, and then I'll tell you what Vonette said. Go ahead. When we lived in Burnham Hall. Oh gosh. Do you oh, remember? Lord. I'm telling on myself now. Look. I know now. I'm like, oh, girl, tell it. Right. Uh, only if, only if Brittany remembers. <laughs> okay. A okay. Someone, a certain somebody that I was dating in New York, and I was all depressed and losing weight. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh. And then what she do? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we telling the story. You can tell me, girl. I ain't got no shame, okay? You ain't got no shame. You know what? No, I, I can't even. You go ahead and finish it because I'm not, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm not, you're not, you're not coming for me afterwards. You're not coming for me. You're not coming for me after and <laughs> being like, you really supposed to tell that part of the story. Mm -mm. I'm going to let you finish Honey, it. Go on and look. This was not one of my finer moments of life. <laughs> oh, Wait, do I need a sip? Hold on, I need a sip. Please. Go on, take your sip. You need a sip. Go on and finish the story, cause I'm just not gonna be. I'm not gonna be messy and be a part of it. But I'm, 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 I'm not gonna be messy. <laughs> tell I'm myself, gonna tell myself, okay, your own demise, girl. Okay, right, right, right. This, this is the sip exclusive. Y'all not getting nothing else. This I'm gonna give you. I, I was in college. We went on a we went on a spring break spring break trip to New York and I met this Dominican dude on the subway. I know that's what you talk about. Why do I? What uh -huh. you know what you're talking about? Uh -huh. I'm Honey. afraid for her to tell this story. Uh huh. And um, hot mess express. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was Easter weekend. Oh Lord. I lied to my parents and told them I had a gig in Cincinnati. <laughs> Your Pentecostal parents, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep going. Pentecostal right. parents. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> had to borrow some money from, um, what's her name, Brittany, <laughs> to get a Greyhound bus ticket. Keyshawna. Keyshawna. Shout out, mm. Keyshawna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, let me lose her. Oh, oh, wait. oh there she go. Sorry, she go. I'm back. It was about to get good. Dang. I don't know what happened. I'm back. <laughs> I had to borrow some money. I had to lie. I had to borrow some money to get some money to buy me a Greyhound bus ticket from Kentucky to New York City. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. You're going to hell, child. You're going to hell. 
Um, yeah, yeah, because yeah, I, yeah. I met him, I met him in New York, and he was all mommy, mommy, mommy. I'm from Brooklyn. Right, mommy, right, mommy. right. Go, go through my and I'm all, mm -hmm. you know, this little wet behind the ears, Kentucky We're behind girl. green, <laughs> and he got the no slick no back, <laughs> honey. He got the slick back. He slicked back. Hey. The slick back. Thought he was, thought he was fine. Mm. He's Dominican. He's tall. He fit. Okay, <laughs> honey. <laughs> Brittany is clearly like her and some other friends that we had at the time. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Was like, girl, what are you doing? Like, you uh, crazy? To New York? You crazy? What's your problem? And I was like, let me go. Right. <laughs> you went by yourself. By myself. By Who herself. On the bus. Who does that? On the bus. Right Who, does that? Who does that? On the bus. It is a. I am a living, walking miracle that God is out here in the blessing. <laughs> okay. Because when I tell you I should be dead, honey, put me in B flat. I should be dead. <laughs> Come on, or did you know I, should have, yeah. I should have full blown AIDS. Where's Aaron? <laughs> Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> I should be buried in a house in Queens. Uh, you you know? have full blown AIDS. <laughs> we should be asking. She should be on a milk carton at this Ooh, point. Crazy. But the I fact should, that I he just said, all right, but no, all, she said she's good. All y'all watching though. <laughs> Put the, like, put the like button if the Lord has delivered you. Come on. Things you done when you're the king. God, God, God has blessed you. If yes. God. Yes. 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 On here, giving up the emoticons in the comments. <laughs> yep. Yep. Listen, was like, Oop. Yep. I, I am was, a living, walking testimony to tell somebody, don't be like me. Okay? Uh -uh. Right. And to also show proof that be like, God be out here on our behalf uh, sometimes, girl. Yeah, God, God be looking at, yeah. looking out for us. And we all been there. We all done done. We have all been there for, for a hot night. You said that's a long ride from Kentucky. That's a long ride. Twenty six hours this on the Greyhound. This was before cell phones was really like a thing. Too. I had to borrow a cell phone to go. <laughs> Cause you know, no, okay. know, Floyd didn't really play about. Floyd no was not no happening. Floyd no, didn't play. Listen, no, when man. I tell you, and we just was like, all right. I mean, no, I I I <laughs> honey, all I want to know is, was it good? Was it good? <laughs> was it worth the drive it was from not. Kentucky to New York? <laughs> it, it, it was not, because I'm going to tell you what. Oh, dang. <laughs> dang, dang. This is the gag, y'all. And I swear to God, I cannot make this up. I'm a fast forward. <laughs> I. <laughs> I get to New York City. Right, right. Say it, say it, say it with 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 a little cool though, because you know. I'm, I'm gonna say it. With, I'm, I'm gonna say it with cool. I, I get to New York City. Oh, shoot. this Dominican nigga was raggedy. Mm. Oh, he, he, he was a hot mess. He mm. had no job. He had no money. He had no house, and didn't mm. tell me none of this till I landed my ass in Penn Station. So what yeah. y'all do? This is like oh, in 1990. Oh, I'm honey, loving it. Where you ready? He was like, I'm I have like, a I'm friend like. who live in Queens, so we can, we can sneak in his basement. Stop playing. You know what? Swear to you know then, what? A friend that I had at the time had an auntie living in Harlem, or a friend living in Harlem, and I ended up going to Harlem. Came back home. I I'm going to just fast forward because we're going to be here. Right, that's going, home. girl. Came back to Kentucky and was like, this is a mess, but kept talking to this Negro. Ooh. Ooh. Turns out he had just got out of prison for almost killing yep. somebody. Yep. I'll wait on that part. I'll wait on that part. He just got he out of like, prison. He was on parole, right? He was on parole because he was yeah. a minor when he almost killed a man. He was right, a minor so they let him out. They let him out. He was um, in about four or five years. Didn't tell me uh -huh. nothing, and uh -huh. now he was now he was bouncing and selling heroin to strippers at a club. You know what? Grab your coochie and run, run. <laughs> but wait, Raj, you would think you would think because I found all of that out that I would have been done, right? right. You would have thought, it. no, he came to Kentucky, girl. He did. He, he did. That's all right, man. It's okay. He violated his parole. And then he violated his parole coming to see me. Right, right. When he got, got back. Locked back up. When he got back, 
They was waiting on him at Penn Station. When he got back, they was waiting on him, and I did not hear from him. And I'm in the dorm crying for weeks because Uh I didn't hear back from this nigga. Uh Uh-huh. Can we? No. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I might have been bent over to call me ankles at the club. However, however. I'm not jumping on the no greyhound. I still ain't finna jump on no greyhound for a nigga. I'm just saying. But I ain't jump on no greyhound 26 hours to go to New York. Only to sleep in somebody else's basement in Queens that you don't even know. The nigga that's on parole and he came to see you and left like this. Son, hands behind your back. So I might have been ankles. I might have been ankles and I own ankles because oh, ankles was, was lit every every Thursday, Friday, Listen, Saturday. Listen, you got However, it. You right. You right. I was, but I was in Kentucky though. I wasn't in New, New, New York. <laughs> but I didn't ride 26 hours to sleep oh, in the no, basement. Great, on the no bus for no nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all said she was having big fun with the wretched. <laughs> Well, that's, why I, I, oh. <laughs> that's why I let her tell the story. I'm like this. Mm-mm, you tell the story. I'm gonna let you tell honey, it. Honey, <laughs> I'm gonna put my business out. Listen, I said, Mm-mm. because this is the pride. This is what happens when you grow up in the church and they try to, you know, rein right. you in, and you like, right. I didn't met a nigga in New York, so right. I'm out. <laughs> but you know what? Too, oh, don't we, let you have a good friend. Though. Can we have a moment of of gratitude, though, for the women that we used to be and that we've grown through? Because yes. it ain't like I don't yes, have, a, yes, have yes. a story. I might not have a basement story, but I got to own somebody couch story. Or I got another <laughs> story about a time that I didn't always value myself the way I wanted to. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, but thankfully, you have grown, Neek. Yes. And look at this, now y'all are on this show. You're on your Absolutely. podcast. That's your right. Sister. Who has her own business? So look at where y'all have come to. Yeah. Even and I'm, glad, I'm glad you are right. I'm, right. I'm, I'm honey, glad. Well, I'm here for <laughs> you in the stories, though. You are here to me testify. Too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. But you know what? <laughs> Brittany was yeah, such yeah. a good friend to me, though. <laughs> honey, if I never told you before, I'm gonna tell you now. You were such a good friend to me through that. You never oh. judged me because some people were well, judging good. me. Okay. You never judge just like, me. Well, like, girl, you, right. still, you still depressed? You get some right. pizza. <laughs> Five dollars. And I, I would knock on her door and she'd be like, he ain't call you yet. Oh, <laughs> oh girl, it's so okay. Meanwhile, in the back of my head, I'm like this. That nigga ain't shit anyway. So I'm like, I'm not here, I'm upset, but I'm come on, oh, Mo. It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. Come on, you want to go get something to eat? Oh, that's right. Let's go, let's go to let's go to the cafeteria. <laughs> let's go to the cab. Let's see if the football players have got that practice yet. Right. Let's go to the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Let, let's go oh, see. Let's go to the calf real quick. That'll make right. you happy. Go look at some muscles or something. Yeah, 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 I don't know. No. Y'all try. <laughs> you try so hard. Man. But no, girl. Good thank times. You so, good times. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And look where we are. Like Raj said, girl. Thank you so much for yeah. being here. Oh, thank you yeah. for having me. Yeah. This is. This is fun. Thank you for having me, for real. Like, I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Play. (laughs) It was fun. Thank you. Well, it's only right. It's only right. I want to buy. I do a geek. Hey, 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 hey. (laughs) And y'all make sure to follow Brittany Shakira on Instagram. I'm getting ready to put up her handle right now. That's right. Correct, Britt? Please go follow her. Support this woman. I think you can go to her website and do a mailing list sign up, correct? Yes. Yep. Yes. yes. So securecollection.com. Sign up for the email. Yes. And as soon as, you know, we actually launched, like I said, we're going to do some preview wear for the mm. fall and for the winter. And then the, sum, the spring, I'm sorry, at the end of the winter, that's when we're dropping the whole swimwear line. And yeah. it's so make sure you're first one to know. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Sign up, follow her, go put your email in so you can get the updates. 
We salute you, Brittany. You are our sister in power for the week. Thank Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to everybody who's been watching and rocking with us this past hour and a half. Y'all have a beautiful weekend. Please go follow us on the SIP podcast on Instagram. And Carrie? Yeah, so you're here with us right now on the SIP podcast um, on Facebook. We're here every Friday at 5 p.m. Next week, we're going to have the amazing Kim Dawson. If y'all don't know, you're about to find out. Um, And so follow us on Instagram on the SIP underscore podcast. And you can find our website at www.thesippodcast.com. Yes. Thank y'all for joining us. We'll see you next week. Thank you. See y'all next week. And y'all, please share this. Share this with everybody you know. And please follow us on all of our platforms. Yeah, your fans. (laughs) Peace out. Peace out.